Hi, this is Highbridge Caravans, Devon Branch, and on this sunny but windy spring February lockdown day, we're doing some walk around videos on our new and used motorhome stock. And this particular one is a brand new 2021 model Adria Matrix Plus S 670 SC. Uh, this one has just come in from sunny Slovenia via many different countries to wind its way on low loader over to us we're very happy to have it it's an absolutely stunning uh, luxury low profile uh, twin floor fully winterized premium european low profile with a drop down bed at the front and a rear island bed so the uh, 670 sc it's not a full-on family van but it is a family friendly layout uh, but it's equally good for two uh, sometimes with others or for a full-on family of four or even five as this one is a uh, five berth five seat belt model so let's have a little look at it so what does your money get you so this is a lot of money this this is seventy five thousand eight hundred pounds on the road to this spec so adria they are a premium very high-end brand they're part of the uh, trigano group who are a french multinational giant who own amongst other things auto sleeper and auto trail in this country uh, they own mcluey joint roller team show some benamar and as of two years ago adria are their flagship brand but adria are still left to run independently they just uh, benefit from the Trigano group buying power um, and expertise but Adria themselves are a Slovenian giant uh, they've been going 50 plus years uh, they're one of the uh, oldest manufacturers uh, from Europe to sell into the UK and they do a lot of stuff uh, just for us in the UK and uh, this is the new as I say Matrix Plus 670SC uh, it's new body shell for this year it is a fantastic looking van so it's got the drop down front bed so they've raised the roof slightly but it's a very very sculpted looking thing you've got a massive front panel panoramic skylight uh, this one's all in white now sometimes uh, you can get the Supremes which is silver I like this in fairness so I think the, uh, the the high gloss white paintwork with the uh, the gray sort of uh, almost carbon fiberish graphics the black Fiat alloy wheels the black style pack on the front there I think this is a fantastic looking motorhome build quality from Adria it's as good if not better than anybody out there Adria of course being from Slovenia they sell about six vans per year to the yak farmers of Slovenia so they've had to export or die basically uh, and they've done it tremendously successfully so Adria are one of the best selling brands in Germany uh, Germans do build some mighty fine motorhomes we sell some of them ourselves uh, so to get a German to buy a Slovenian van instead of one of his own brilliant German vans you got to be good and Adria have been good for 50 60 years uh, but they do uh, listen to what we want in this country they've got a large UK uh, base they employ sort of 10 15 people in the UK through their UK concessionaires no one else does that uh, so you are dealing very much like with a British company but with European build quality and buying power so we do very well with them and uh, they're smart things so we'll have a little walk around the outside so she's based on the Fiat Ducato uh, motorhome chassis which gives you a wider back axle compared to the front for better handling uh, amongst other modifications you got 16 inch Fiat alloy wheels uh, front uh, fog lights the LED daytime running lights and the uh, high gloss black uh, Fiat style pack bumper with Techno Silver uh, little chin spoiler there. We've got this gorgeous automotive sort of sculpted over cab pod unit there with a big panoramic skylight in it. So really, really smart looking van. Have a little walk around here. So this one's got options wise, it's got pack two and the lux pack, and that gives you most things you'd, you'd want. There's not a lot more to spend on it outside of what it's already got. Uh, things like aircon, cruise, reversing camera, awning, alloys. We'll go through those as we go around. Uh, and it's also got the nine speed ZF uh, fully automatic gearbox, which is just brilliant. It's arguably the world's finest automatic gearbox. You'll find it also in BMW and Jaguar cars, Range Rovers, uh, Corvettes as well, I think. Don't hold me on that one, but they're a German gearbox specialist. And that combined with the fantastic handling of the Fiat Ducato and the quiet, potent uh, 140 brake engine, it's, it's a very, very good package. Um, so let's continue having a look around. So we've got double glazed flush fit windows all the way around. So £75,800, it's a lot of money, but 
you'd struggle to find a better low profile motorhome on the market these are one of the best things out there so uh, you get what you pay for sometimes uh, fresh water fill up point so the matrix is now a flat floor double floor model uh, that means there's two floors under floor over floor and all your water tanks and your pipe work are between the floors so you can obviously take these skiing the Germans do that obviously some of us British people do that as well it's tested to minus 20 uh, and it laughed in the face of the testing and uh, nothing will freeze up uh, in any sort of cold weather temperatures so lightly tinted double glazed flush fit habitation windows Fresh water fill up point. I think the fresh water tank is 140 or 160 litres. It's massive, but don't hold me to that. Filled up through there, and the tank itself is between the floors for insulation. And next to that, we've got a little 2 pin 12 volt sock in. It comes with a pump that, if you don't want to just fill that up with a hose, you can drop the the uh, shorter pump that it comes with into a container of water that you bring to the van, and that will suck it on board Thomas the Tank Engine Styly. Truma Heating in the pluses, they do Supremes with Aldi, um, but tr Plus and Access has uh, Truma Blown Air digitally controlled. It's the Combi 6, which is the more powerful heating system. Gas locker for two 11 kilo bottles, which is the standard European gas bottle size. Um, British vans, we do sixes in this country, so you'll fit two sixes. Or if you want refillable gas bottles, which we fit a lot of, we can fit you a twin refillable 11 kilo uh, setup in there if you prefer. For a price, of course. Now, stepping back, we've got bedroom window, kitchen window, lounge window, beer garage at the back. So it's an island bed, this one at the back, uh, and underneath that island bed is a big garage. Uh, as I open the door there, you'll see you've got a big garage, but you'll see you've got some silver there. Do excuse the shadow, it's an unusually sunny day here in, uh, in Devon. Um, so we've got that bit there at the top of your garage. Now you can leave your bed in the down position and you've got loads of space underneath there in fairness. It's a big old garage even with the bed down. But if you need more height, so if you want to put bikes in here without popping a wheel off, you just press a button which we see on the other side. This goes up and you've got a full height very big garage there. Also in the garage you'll see your carpets for the habitation and the cab, real nice quality carpets. Um, this is a drawer there that comes out for more storage. I love that idea for all the little things you don't want rattling around the place. We've got LED lights either side, we've got tie down points and we've got heat vents, uh, two times two. Uh, so uh, a great multifunctional garage space to keep all of your gear, children, dogs, husbands, whatever you want in there. New back end for Adria this year, very very smart LED indicators and brake lights look really cool. High level reversing camera and uh, automotive style high level marker lights and brake lights. If you don't want to put bikes in your garage, uh, it's pre-fitted for a bike rack on the back so you just hang a bike rack off of it. And there's reversing sensors back there as well, all as part of the price. Looking down the driver's side, it's a fantastic looking van. We've got a Thule four meter, maybe four and a half meter wind out uh, canopy, which you can then use to attach a drive away awning or add sides on the front to the canopy if you wish. And then we've got your second garage door. This would be your main garage door because it's on your habitation door side. So this is where you're gonna be getting all your, all your stuff out. You see really, really big space. You've got your jack and wheel brace in there. Uh, we've got your ladder for your front drop down bed in there as well. Some awning accessories. And then we've got a couple of plug sockets. So if you want to put electric bikes in here, you can charge them off the mains. You can charge them off 12 volt from your leisure battery. And you can press that magic button there. And that's the one that will take the bed all the way up to that height. And you can sleep on the bed raised up if you want. So you can sleep with your bikes in the garage. No problem at all. There's steps up the side of the bed so you can uh, still access it easy enough. So carrying on down the driver's side, set cassette toilet, emptying point there, standard on all vans. Waste wastewater? No, fridge vents, massive fridge freezer, as we'll see on the inside, and there the, uh, the vents which let it breathe. That'll run off gas if you're not hooked up. Means if you are hooked up and 12 volt when you're driving off the engine. LED awning light to attract the mosquitoes. Uh, this is new for this year as well. Uh, very, very smart little service hatch. I like these. Uh, first time Andrew have done this. Uh, so it's both an extra storage box there 
but within the storage box you've got your mains hook up so if you are going skiing your mains hook up's actually inside the van and the cable runs through there and you've got an outside TV aerial point with electric 12 volt USB points and uh, 12 volt bit there and outside TV points for plugging in to an external TV source be it a satellite dish or an on-site booster which are becoming more and more common as well in low signal areas really nice idea I love that having it all tucked away very very smart a little look at the cab spec almost all my homes are on Fiat's and that's because they're uh, almost always the best van for the job in fairness to it we've got a Fiat motorhome ourselves we've got concertina cab lines and I like these because these are the frameless ones that only Andrea seem to use they're from Remis like all the others but uh, uh, frameless so no rattly frame there and blind spots we've got the eco pack stop start technology there to save you a bit of fuel which is uh, optional but standard optional with this particular van um, leather gear stick Leather steering wheel, leather gear sticks down there, and the all new 2021 7 inch touchscreen uh, infotainment um, box of tricks there. So that will do sat nav, it's pan European. It is now motorhome specific, so you can add the size of your vehicle and the weight, and it will tell you the speed limits and stop taking you down farm tracks. We've got air conditioning, cruise control, speed limiter. Hill descent control for going down steep hills slowly, uh, really, really good. Just take your foot off, hit that button, and you'll crawl down like a Range Rover. And uh, Traction Plus advanced traction control for if an elk steps out in front of you. Nice Techno Silver dash trim. Uh, the um, Box of Tricks stereo does DAB radio, it does Bluetooth, it does Apple CarPlay and Android Play as well, so it's got all that nice thing. Cab windscreen blind, as you'd expect. Um, and overall a very nice place to sit now let's have a look inside shall we let's have a look. so we go in through the habitation door which is of course double locking lock at the bottom lock at the top and centrally locked really chunky wide door as well on these it's really really nice we've got a concertina blind we've got a bin with a carry handle for you to empty it which is great and um, electric step Put yourself away when you start the engine. Fly screen door as you come in. And we've got a light up Adria badge in case you forget what your van is. Now, coming into the inside, Matrix didn't used to be double floor. It used to be single floor and it had steps up and steps down. So new body shell for 21 and new single floor all the way through, which is a lovely thing. Heat event under the floor there. And I'll just take a seat in the cab. We'll have a little look down the van there. So new colour scheme for this year as well. Um, got this nice sort of lightning flash lighting. We've got greys and in pluses. So they do three different ones. They do Supreme uh, Plus and Access. And Plus gets this sort of matte white cabinet work, which I love. Uh, greys in the upholstery and silvers, which is very on trend. Matching matte white tabletop. Uh, nice Adria embossed uh, seat trimming and dark greys there your tv goes there and that is a rotating tv bracket so you'll fit a 32 inch tv on there if you want to or it will swallow a 24 which is the biggest most people have but you will fit a 32 on there if you want as it will just come out and rotate around which is very very cool um I've got this nice light sort of warm but light wood finish which you get on pluses in supremes you get like a gray uh, grays and silvers but I actually prefer the plus in furnace in this way um, underside of the drop down bed so matrixes all have a drop down front bed which I'll drop down in a moment fantastic user lighting you can see very very stylish massive skylight above my head there big side lockers as well so they've made the use of the space which some other manufacturers waste this space but you've got useful side lockers up there you've got lockers underneath the drop down bed you've got batteries and things underneath of there and you've got storage in the double floor as well if i can lift that up there so that's your water tank that's one or two of these hatches which go through the van you'll be able to store things in as well which is really really neat as you come in the door you've got a little storage pocket there which you might want to put shoes or things that you wear outside in if you wish New control panel for this year, which is nice and simple. Well done, Adria. No stupid touch screen. It's got a button for every job. On off button, battery gauge, fresh water gauge, uh, other gauge, and another button. So a button for every job, nice and easy. Digital control panel for your heating system. You can just set a temperature and leave it to it. Dead easy again. Plenty of plug sockets around for your TV and other things there. Your lounge, I love this curved unit there as well, which is very, very cool. Lounge is a typical European fare, nice big bit of floor space here, 
L-shaped lounge, side sofa, twin swivelly captain seat with two armrests. Uh, say lots of lights, lots of USB and 12 volt power sockets all the way around as well. And sleeping wise, you can drop this down and hash it into a single bed, but that's not really what you want to do because you've got this drop down bed above it. So you just press a button, this will come down. You can remove your headrest if you want and this drop down bed, it's a double bed and it'll come down to that level and you've just got that ladder to access it. You can see the runner for it there. Really, really neat. You've also got underneath the drop down bed, a nice lighting. You've got a little spotlight there that you can move up and down this track and you've got, and you probably can't see it, that block there, which is actually a movable USB charger socket. What a cool idea that is. Very, very good, very modern. Kitchen space is uh, never a strong point on a European van, but they do their best uh, for us. And this is one of the best kitchens out there in a European van. Um, they've got like this real nice, almost marbled worktop finish. Combi oven and grill that they put in for the UK market. It's only the UK that wants this. Um, three gas burner hob, like an iron pot rack. Light up splash back, very, very cool. Two plug sockets above that as well. And some aircraft style top lockers small but practical sink with a cover I like these new catches as well they're cool and you've got this sink cover there to, to match very smart three very deep drawers there plus another one for pots and things underneath the oven that's a great idea and that's all handily opposite what you can do for more space you can always prep on the kitchen table and then cook in the kitchen Big slim line, very tall fridge freezer, absolutely massive, probably bigger than the one in my house. More storage above there. Could you fit a microwave in there? If you can find a little cube shaped one, you probably could do in fairness to it if you want to. We've got an opening hecky roof light above the kitchen as well. Coming through into the bathroom now. So it's four areas in this van really. You've got front lounge stroke bedroom, kitchen, bathroom dresser. Totally separate shower on one side of the van. Look at this for a really nice space. Two massive plug holes, fantastic. Well done, Andrea. Heat vent. Eco Camel, very stylish shower head. Looks like a wand. And then lighting, soft lighting, sort of down behind. I wonder if I hit this, if the lights go off. Who knows, there's a light button somewhere <laughs> anyway. Um, nice little skylight above and a nice little shelf to put your uh, your bits and bobs on, really good idea. Now opposite that, if I just come through into the bedroom and then look back forward down the van. Opposite this, if I open the door for the toilet compartment, you close off the front area of the van, which is really, really good. Toilet compartment, you take for cassette chemical toilet. Nice freestanding basin with a domestic style uh, tap there. Really big storage cupboards, absolutely massive, two of them. Really, really big uh, lighting and mirror there. Mirror's got lighting behind it and above it, very smart, and a big skylight. So great use of natural light and space, really, really clever. And then if you want to, you can pull your bedroom door across, which I'll just have to undo the little catch for. So you can pull your sliding bedroom door across and then you've totally segregated your bathroom dressing area there. So you can have your shower, brush your teeth and get dressed. Really, really good idea. And it's only 7.4 metres this van. It's not a monster I and mean, it's a full size van, but it's not a tag axle. So to fit into four separate rooms into it is a really good idea. And finally, we come back to your bedroom, your master bedroom. You've got a very, very wide um, island bed, which you can pull out to be flat. Uh, and you've got a lift up backrest there. I've not folded this mattress out all the way yet, but you've got a, a nice sort of relatively firmish uh, memory foam mattress. I think it's memory foam. And uh, that will just fold back there. And then you can sit up in bed and watch your uh, telly box. There's a second place for a TV over here. There's handy little storage bits down there as well, which are quite deep. And then for if you're sleeping with the bed in the up position, because you've got bikes in the garage, there's a little step up either side to help you get in. You've got light switches and USB chargers on either side of the bed. You've got these movable spotlights that can slide back and forth above. Three high level storage cupboards, a second very large hecky roof light. So that's three very large and two smaller roof lights. Hers and hers wardrobes, one either side of the bed and a nice little table either side to put your brew on. Fantastic. Plenty of space, massively wide bed, very, very big. Uh, it's a real winner. And this uh, the light wood finish on the pluses, 
really suits this. Up lighters, down lighters, a lot of light switches in the van as well, so you can switch the lights off at the front from the back and vice versa. So um, it's a lovely thing. But it's a lot of money, £75,800, but I think you'll agree with me, it justifies it, and it'll be a fantastic long-term investment, in fairness to it, and a lot of fun. So this is the uh, Adria Matrix Plus S670SC. It's at Highbridge Caravans Devon branch. It's with us in Devon, so any questions, put in an inquiry through the Highbridge Caravans website about the 2021 Adria Matrix Plus S670SC automatic at £75,800 at Highbridge Caravans Devon. Uh, you can ring us up. Our phone's at the Devon branch. I'll divert it to Somerset, but ask to speak to Devon and uh, I or one of my colleagues will have a chat with you. We can work out part exchange figures. We can work out finance figures. And if you think it's the van for you, we can do you a deal. Uh, so you can secure the van. Uh, you can then come and have a look at it after lockdown or you can just come and pick it up if you want in furnace to it so uh, that's all good so we are here every day even though we're not currently allowed to open our gates to the public so adria matrix s670 sc 75,800 pounds it's got pack two lux pack solar panel and eco pack it's not got solar panel pack two lux pack eco pack <laughs> and the automatic 140 brake uh, gearbox nine speed it's a beautiful beautiful van any questions contact us highbridge motorhomes devon thank you very much Goodbye.